Welcome everybody to Talladega Super Speedway Race 6 of the COT Series. Cole Colby is on pole for today's race alongside Dylan Ibrahim. Here is the full qualifying results. And we're about to get the race command. Alright, here it is. Alright, engines fired up. We are ready to race. Alright, so. I think we could start talking about points a little bit more. Now we are five races in. So, currently, Dylan Eberheimen, still our points leader, but only by five points. Carson Manning, in the 37 team, is second. Blazy Vitar with his second win of the season jumps up to third. Two spots gained, 10 points back from the race leader. Skyler uh, Taylor is in fourth, losing a spot. KCH is up five, has moved up to fifth. Patrick Mew has gained up six positions, up to sixth place. Bracken is seventh, losing three. Kenny Johnson going up a spot, he is eighth. Brandon Wilcox with a big uh, gain, goes up seven positions, he is up to ninth. And Josh Harmon. Drops three positions, moving down to 10th as your current top 10 drivers in the point settings. Biggest mover was Alexander Rowe with 11 spots gained. Most positions lost. So it will be a little bit tricky here. I see seven, I see eight, seven again, and it appears to be Ryan Butcher who lost eight positions, dropping him all the way down to 28th. Still pretty early in the season. A lot of things that happen here. So we've got three Fords lined up on the bottom. A little bit mixed up, up, up top, uh, eh, up top. <laughs> lagged in real life. My brain lagged in real life, or whatever. None of them are teammates though, but it's pretty likely they'll help each other. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. All right, getting ready to go green here at Talladega, second plate race of the season. Let's see how this plays out. Daytona was super clean, only had one caution that involved a car spinning out. Will it be the same here? Maybe, we'll see. All right, green flag is out. We are underway here at Talladega. Three wide already. It's a 29 car. So got a little bit of help. Kind of squeezing the sixth car. So he gets some of the draft. Still mostly side by side. Nine cars pulled out completely. Trying to form a line there. There's only 41 cars across the line. Who has issues? And that is the 37, Carson Manning. As we mentioned earlier, he was second in points. Three wide here for the race lead. Four wide, five wide. Four wide's okay, it's Aldega at the line. I think the 27 led that first lap, and he did. No, oh, here we go. The 38 goes spinning. Tries to lock it down there. And got car upside down, the 38 and the 18 and the 47. Up and over. Did not take long. Yeah, they're going five wide for the race lead at the start of the race. Not gonna work. Four car right behind. Gonna make a move, coming to the tri -oval. See if he can take that lead away, but not gonna be enough. So it'll be Ibrahim taking the yellow flag. Alright, first caution of the day, let's take a look at the replay. So we saw them going five wide for the race lead. And then right there, 21 was right in the, in the middle. 38 gets turned. 77 into the wall there. Now I was thinking, 
Only it's only gonna be the 38th and maybe a couple more drivers, but when he came back down. Let's see, there's the 18, big hit. Goes upside down, then the 38 goes flipping as well. Then the 47 tips over. Right in the transition of the apron and the racing surface. Surprisingly, Brad Chesson, he's still moog, he's still going. He flipped through the grass. It was a slow flip. Here from the spectator view. Yeah, when he was right in between, just opened up the gap on the bottom of the 34. Big hit. But since it wasn't a direct, or, well, it was a direct hit, but already had uh, the, uh, I guess the right side. There was an, oh, okay, you guys understand, right? Uh, let's go on board with Connor Reed in the 34 car. You're looking to snag up all those free positions, but the car slid down. Collides with the 18. Big damage there. And there's a 38 as he sees his own teammate go flying in the air. Let's go over with Stephen Oaks in the 24. He nailed the back end of the 47. Kind of just pushes him into the 38. And also tips him over as well. So three cars upside down. Two of them are able to keep on going. They land on all fours. 47. Uh, it's possible that he could still be in the race. We just gotta wait and see. So first caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. So the 37 this is as an accident. Uh, the 34 to 20 to 24. 47 to 38, 18 and 77. Now, even Sam Curtis was out. Well, he was involved. It was kind of a big hit. It was enough to take him out of the race. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Forty-seven, Jesse Menard. In second place right now. And he really wanted to make that pass for the race lead. Very aggressive off the start. There he goes. Now he's fully committed. DJ Curtis also making some moves. Again, he has pulled out. Three wide here, as to be expected. Going to the stripe, Menard, I believe I led that lap. Yeah, it was a close one. Ibrahimans' average finish right now is in 8.4. So is Carson Manning. This 2017. Yep, we've seen him right up front. Although he did get taken out at Texas with a wicked crash. Almost flew over. Almost landed on his lid. Still two by two here. At least with the front runners. Some of them at least. Whoa, trouble the seven cars on the wall. Got a little squirrely back there. But they do not wreck. They hang on. Skylar Taylor in the 15 here. Who is fourth in the point standings. A great start for this rookie. Now it just needs a win. So 31 going to pull out a line. Going to make it four wide. Looks like the 97 was going to go with him. But decided against it. Four wide, four wide. Won't last for long, I don't think. The 31, he steps right back with no push. Back to three wide. Still only these two. And Menard is clear to 27. Try to slide up. 
the cover, but he does not unable to clear him completely. He still got some help. Okay, now he's cleared 21 cars there as well. Gotta go to the top lane most likely. Or we're gonna try to cover both lines. So the leader has finally broken away. The 87. Looking low. Gonna try to form a third line. And here comes the 21. Nathan Orman. Will now try to challenge for the race lead. Oh, got trouble. Whoa, big wreck. Double zeros upside down. Barrel rolling. Right on top. Looks like he lands on all fours. Racing it back to the line here. Side by side for the race lead. The 87 again. Gonna look. So who will get the caution flag this time? Gonna be close. At the line. It will be... I think Monar got it. Yes, he did. Alright. Then, oh, trouble again. Another wreck. 14 car, another car up and over. Still rolling into the grass. Auto Club and Texas winner. So, got two wrecks to review here. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. Alright, let's take a look here. The 22 looks like started with Sam and Oscan and Calvin and the 48. Though it looks he got into his teammate first and into the 48. And that super quick transition just made that car super unstable. Came flying back up into the pack. And just just completely decimated the double zero. That was a strong hit. A super hard hit. Send him into the wall and he goes flying over, or goes barrel rolling. 36 cars also involved. So I'll take a look at that again, but we'll focus on Riley Sampson. So Calvin was able to get away unscathed. Sampson gets sandwiched into the wall and goes over. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy wreck. Right on top of the 22, but unable to be a wedge and stop that car from flipping. He keeps on going. Luckily there's no grass there anymore on the back straightaway. Would have been a much more violent barrel roll. Take a look at that again. Sam and Oscan, he was doing some aggressive side drafting. He was in the middle, somewhat three wide. Gets just way too close. Into the two car first and then into the 48. 48 hooks the one car. Comes back and just door slams the hell out of the double zero. And he almost goes over himself. And right on top. What a wreck. There for uh, Riley Sampson. Oh, whoops. Alright, let's take a look at the second wreck. Skip on over, so let's see how this one started. So, let's see, from the helicopter view, they're four wide. Four wide is usually okay. But they got a little too close to each other. And they end up spinning out, causing a crash. And the 14, he gets squished into the wall too. And he goes rolling down the banking. Well, I was about to stop, but then it tipped over again and into the grass on its nose and upside down he goes. So, so from two wins in a row to upside down here at Talladega. Take a look at that on the onboard view. We'll move on with the 14. So let's see, right in between Mitchell Hodak and the 31, the 97's up top. Yeah, he's just got no room. No room at all. Five off bracket is also collected. Forty eight Calvin looks like he avoided this one too. Eleven of David Davison with some pretty big uh, front end damage. And uh, crawling Cropley 
with the back end pushed in, and here's a 5. Doesn't look like there's too much damage. The 48 does get stuck, though. So you need to... gonna need some help here. Alright, so, second caution of the day. Let's take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. So, 25 drivers left on the racetrack. The 48 ends up going a lap down for that. So he was able to avoid the wreck, but he got himself stuck. Needed a tow. Pace car is off, getting ready to go green. It's Jesse Menard and the 46 is our race leader. Nathan Norman on the outside line. Ibrahim in the 27 is in third. 87 car of Austin Le Legrand or something. Probably saying that wrong. In fourth. Four car of Tim Randolph, DJ Curtis, row three. Here we go. Green flag is back out. We're back underway. Armin with a really good start and a really good push. Few movers. The 99. Looking to make a third line. Abraham looking to go. Does not commit. Menard back to the top spot with a lot of help from the 27. Yeah, that second wreck took out quite a bit of good cars. Oh, Trouble 88's gone around. I think he had a mechanical failure as well. Yeah, he does. Roberto Crown Jr. spinning out, brings out a caution. Side by side. Ibrahim has taken over once more. Menard trying to fight back on the top. Not enough momentum there, so Ibrahim, he'll take the yellow flag this time. Alright, yellow flag is out for the third time. Let's take a look at the replay. So Roberto Crown Jr. in the 88. Having mechanical failures right in the tri-oval. So somewhere around here. Up there it goes. Something lets go. Under the hood of the 88. So he's definitely going to be losing a lot of power. A lot of speed. He was trying to get down to the apron. He does. But then. Goes back up. Maybe he thought. He was going to get hit. So he went back up to the top to give room. To the bottom. But the 32 collects him. Spins him around. Luckily it doesn't fold under itself and flip over. Because it looks like it was about to do that. But uh, no further incident. And uh, all is good after that. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So the 88, it was an ignition problem. And the 32 has also retired from the race. From that incident. Looks like it was a lot worse than we thought. Uh, those speeds, I guess it's possible. Green flag is out, back underway. Here goes Jesse Menard, once again, 46 car, super strong today, stayed up front all day long, led quite a bit of laps, he's looking to win, they're all looking to win, the 21 and 9, they're going to try to form a third lane on the bottom, 
15 car might looks like gonna follow suit. Nope, DJ's gonna make it four. Four wide. You still got time. Whoa, pushing and shoving. That was close. Oh, with that move, that's gonna send DJ to the back. He was too aggressive. Now Nathan Norman and 21 up there with the leaders. Spectator views pretty great because you could see the momentum they get. See who's pushing who a lot better. See the four car able to pull out a little bit more. And the 21 getting that drive off the 46. All right, got the two Roush cars, the 99 and the six car. Nope. Six cars gonna make a four wide for second. Not gonna help his own teammate. And he's gonna get hung out the dry maybe. Because he's got no help. Yeah, they gotta learn some patience here. Because if they make their move way too early, then they're gonna get sent to the back. And just like that, a six car gets shuffled out. Right outside the top five, and maybe further. And here comes Orman. Looking for the lead here. The 99 is there behind, but not quite on his back end bumper. So Menard has a slight advantage. Maybe, or maybe not. Coming to two laps to go here. Orman to the top. Or to the race lead. Not to the top, still staying to the low side. And 99's gonna make a move. Two laps to go. Alright, now they're playing the waiting game. They're staying double wide. For now. Who's gonna make that move? Uh, just gotta wait and see. There's the 87 again. He's been pretty content. I'm staying second to third. He's in a real good spot to win this race. Orman sticking to the top. 99 still not clear. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Still waiting on someone to make a pass here. Mew's gonna slide up to the top, block that run. The Norman's gonna get. DJ Curtis is gonna make the move this time, but we'll see. Here comes the 87. Now oh, he's got the momentum. Coming off turn four, checkered flag is out. Still not gonna make a move, anyone? DJ Curtis, he's looking. Is he going? I don't know, at the line, and I think the 87 got it. And he does. Another last lap pass against the 99. Patrick Mule loses another race at a photo finish with the last lap pass and against a rookie too. Josh Harmon beat him at Las Vegas. And now Austin Lagrange beats him here at Talladega. Alright, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it. I told you the 87 had the best, was in the best spot to win this race. And he did. Patrick Mule again, he loses out. And another close finish on the last lap. Oh, so close. I remember a while back, Patrick Mew, he won a Talladega race within inches. And now today, he loses the Talladega race by a couple of inches. DJ Curtis finishing third. Nathan Norman fourth. Mohamed Mazzain is fifth. Jesse Menard sixth. Skylar Taylor seventh. Tim Randolph eighth. Chapman ninth. And Ibrahim tenth. 23 cars finished the race and 22 of them finishing on the lead lap. Here's the rest of the race results. So we had a few crashes. We had the big one. Had a, quite a bit of flips today. 
So it was it was nothing like the Daytona race. I think all of us expected that. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, full race results. Or not the full, I mean the, the finish. How close was it? It feels super close, but the 87 got enough of a push. And he gets it. So, yep. I'm pretty much the same as Las Vegas. It wasn't within the thousands, but it was still pretty close. And uh, if we really want to get up nice and close, I'm going to open up free cam. Okay, let's uh, get up a little closer. So, yep, it's much clearer. Because at Vegas, we know the flags that kind of blocks our view, but uh, here at Talladega, it does. But let's get even closer. Closer than possible. But, uh, yep, that was... That was it right there at the line. Once again, it's the 99 who gets beaten out. Probably can't believe this happened twice. In the same season, within less than 10 races. By a rookie as well. Twice he got beat by a rookie. Alright, so... Freeze it there. Or, yeah, or whatnot. Or, yeah. But anyways, that is it here at Talladega. Austin LaGrange in the 87 team is your winner today. Let's take you to victory lane.